Oh. Oh, hey guys. This is Isaac Ashby. Today's science video is brought to you by a pair of dirty underwear. After all, being clean isn't all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> so today, today kids, we're talking about adaptations. Now, an adaptation is a body part or a behavior that helps an organism to survive, especially when conditions change. So let's go through a few examples. Let's start with a deer. This is a black-tailed deer, and this is a black-tailed deer. Now, they're not from the same black-tailed deer. I picked them up in the woods while hiking while I was a wildlife biologist, okay? But an antler is an adaptation for a black-tailed deer and, much, and many other deer and antelope and elk and, and ungulates in general. An, um, an antler is used for defense and to establish a, a group of females to um, have babies with, to reproduce. So they use these antlers to fight off other males and the strongest male with the biggest antlers are able to have babies, okay? So that is an adaptation. It's a body part and it helps it survive by passing its, its genes on to the next generation, which is the goal of all organisms, supposedly, apparently, is what the theory is. Okay, let's go through another example. The giraffe with this, oh, get out of here, alligator. The giraffe has this great big long neck. Now, why does it have a long neck? So that it can look over the fence at the neighbors? No, it helps, the long neck helps the giraffe survive by helping it to reach the, the leaves that are high up in the trees. Because where giraffes live, there are lots of other animals that eat leaves, but they eat the leaves that are close to the ground, leaving uh, giraffes and, and lots of other um, plant-eating animals nothing to eat. So, giraffes have this great big long neck that helps them reach up way high in the trees where nothing else can reach. So that is another body part, which is an adaptation helping it to find food to survive. Okay, next we have the crocodile. The crocodile has two things I want to mention. One are these scales and really tough skin. Have you ever felt an alligator skin? It's pretty tough and strong. Uh, that is to protect it against other alligators and other predators that could eat it, um, like leopards. I saw a video one time of a leopard killing an alligator. It was amazing! I guess it didn't help that time, right? But it's supposed to help them survive um, attacks from another predator. Another thing they have is jaws that lock. So they can close their jaws, and they have such powerful mouths that they can close on something, and they can keep a hold of it, and then they'll take it out into the water and, and eat it. So that's another adaptation or a body part. With tigers, a, 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 an adaptation is their coloring. They have this nice skin and uh, stripes that make it look like grass. So that when they're in the tall grass and they're hunting antelope or deer or whatever they're trying to catch, the, they can blend in so well. So that is another adaptation or body part that helps them to survive. Finally, My Little Ponies, their adaptation is being stinking cute because like my kids won't throw My Little Ponies away. I have little girls and they love My Little Ponies. So their adaptation is just being cute so that they don't get thrown in the garbage. That is an adaptation. Now those are body parts. Now there are other adaptations that are behaviors. One of those behaviors is migration. So many birds do this. They live in a place where that has winters, and that's where they nest. Uh, for whatever reason, they nest in that place. But then when it comes winter time, it's really cold, and there's not a lot of food, and it's a terrible place to raise their, their, their young. So what they do is they migrate sometimes thousands of miles, which means they leave where they're living, they fly. Some animals, they don't fly, they, they walk. Some of them take the bus. I, I, I think greyhounds do that. <laughs> anyway, but they go to a different place for part of the year where, where they can eat. 
Another behavior is to hibernate. And, it, and it, 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 it's solving the same problem, helping them survive when times get really cold. So that, my friends, is an adaptation. A body part, such as a neck, a behavior, such as migration, that helps an animal to survive, especially when times are changing. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you come back and check out the rest of our videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Find more STEAM lessons, activities, and experiments just like this in our STEAM Outside Homeschool program at steamoutside.com.